In this video, I will be going over the definition of a surd as well as the different operations that can be performed involving them. So a form is any number written in the form under root of n, where n is positive, n is an integer, and n is not a perfect square. So for example, we can say that the square root of 2 is a surd because 2 is positive, it is an integer, and it is not a perfect square. However, we cannot say that the under root of 16 is a third because 16 is a perfect square and we can simply rewrite this as 4. Similarly, we cannot write or we cannot say that the square root of negative 2 is a perfect square because, well, we cannot take the square root of negative numbers. So now that we have a basic understanding of what a third is, I'm going to go over the different operations that can be performed involving thirds. So the first operation, it's not useful operation, so the first operation is addition and subtraction. So we can add and subtract like certs. And what this means is, let's say for example, we have 2 under root 3 plus 6 under root 3. We can add these together to get 8 under root 3. Similarly, if we have 11 under root 5 and we subtract 3 under root 5, we get a sum of 11 minus 3, 8. We get 8 under root 5. Let's add an S here. Another operation we can perform is multiplication. So let's say, and we do that using the rule, the under root of the square root of a multiplied by the square root of b is equal to the square root of a times b. So I'll show you what this looks like. Let's say that we have the under root of 5 multiplied by the under root of 7. We can write this as the under root of 5 times 7 or the square root of 35. Now one thing that we should note is that this tells us that when we multiply any third by itself, so let's say under root a multiplied by under root a, we simply get the square root of a times a, which is equal to the square root of a squared, which is equal to a. So the, under, the square root of a times a is equal to a. We can also divide thirds. And we do that by using the rule the square root of a divided by the square root of b is equal to the square root of a divided by b. And I'll show you what this looks like as well. So if we have the under root of 15 divided by the square root of 3 is equal to the square root of 15 divided by 3 which is equal to the square root of 5. Now we use these operations to both simplify and expand expressions involving thirds, and I'll show you what that would look like. Let's take an example of the square root of 7 plus the square root of 5 multiplied by the square root of 7 plus 2 times the square root of 5. So what we need to do is we, we're just going to open this up. So we have multiply these together, root 7 times root 7, multiply these, root 7 times 2 root 5, plus multiply these, root 5 times root 7, and multiply these finally, so we get plus root 5 times 2 root 5. And we can simplify this. We know that any root times itself is equal to the number inside. So we get 7 and then plus 2 under root 5 under root 7 plus root 5 root 7 plus 2 times root 5 times root 5, which is equal to 2 times 5. Expand this further. We get 10 plus 7 plus 
these are like terms so we can put them together so we get 3 root 5 root 7 which is equal to 17 plus 3 times root 5 times root 7 which is equal to 17 plus 3 times the under root of 35. Now one small thing which I want you to note is that we always write the whole number before we write our third. That's just common notation. Let's look at one more example. Let's say that we have to find, we have to simplify the expression root 120 over the root of 24. Now using our expression from earlier, this one, we get that we get that this is equal to the root of 120 over 24, which we can simplify. So that's 60 over 12, then 30 over 6, then 5 over 1. So this is equal to the square root of 5.